In this video, we're going to set up our C name specifically for Namecheap. Now, this is going to be a domain name that you have solely dedicated to the purpose of tracking inside of Easy Links. So, let me explain this. If you come over here to domain, we have it set up so that you can use one of our admin domains. So, in this case, our admin domain is ibi3g.com and my username is is Chad Nicely. So this is what the links would look like if we were using the admin domain. But instead, what I wanna do is I wanna brand myself and I wanna use my own link. So I might use something like profitventures.us. And now when I go ahead and type in my visible link here, you will see that it looks like profitventures.us forward slash hostgator. We don't have Chad Nicely in here. We don't have EL. We don't have one. We just have a nice, clean link. So when somebody goes this link, it's going to redirect them over here to the destination link. So how do we get a nice, clean link just like this? I'm going to show you exactly how we do that. The first thing is you want to come over here to Manage Groups. And you're going to come over here to Domain Names. Now, the domain I am going to add is going to be ProfitVentures.xyz. Okay, this is Namecheap. So I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to say Add New. All right. And I'm going to say ProfitVentures.xyz. That is the name. Now, for the slug, this is not real important. Okay, what this is, this is a unique name to identify you inside the URL. So I can just do something like bonus, I can do A, I can do whatever I want, okay? But this will show up in the URL, but you won't see it until it redirects. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do profitventures.xyz and I'm gonna put HTTP colon slash slash in front of it, okay? Now as soon as I do that, I'm gonna come down here and check this box. And this here is the C name URL, okay? So take a look at this real close. This isn't real complicated. You can see where bonus came into play. So this can be members, this can be A, this can be whatever you want, okay? This is our C name URL. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this and we're gonna go ahead and save these changes, all right? So now if I come back in here and I open this up, you'll see that ProfitVentures.xyz is here. And if we edit this, there you go. Everything is still here, so we can change it if we want, okay? Set everything up exactly like I just showed you, even if you don't understand what it's doing, okay? Because this will work. So next, step two is we're gonna come in here to Namecheap, and we're gonna find that domain. Now, Namecheap is always changing their settings. So I'm over here on Domains, and here are all the domains inside my account. And I'm going to come down here to the one that says ProfitVentures.xyz. We're going to come over here and we're going to click Manage. Now, as soon as we click Manage, you'll see that there are four menus right here at the top. And the one that we want is called Advanced DNS. Now, as soon as I click this, there's going to be some data that's already there for me, okay? This is data that appears when you first register your domain name. So this is called a CNAME record, and you see that this value here is a parking page, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and replace the data that's here. So if you're starting with a uh, domain name that doesn't have any data here, then just go ahead and add these two CNAME records. Otherwise, we can just go ahead and modify these, okay? So what we're gonna do is we need to have a CNAME record, and then we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna change this to an at sign, Okay, just like this. And then over here for value, we're going to go ahead and paste that link that Easy Links gave us. Okay, just like this. And then for the TTL, we're going to change this to automatic. All right, that's it. That's your first one. We'll go ahead and click this little check mark. There's the first one. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. We're going to come down here, we're going to do a C name record. This time, we're going to make the host www. We're going to take the same exact link and copy this. Okay, and then we're going to set the TTL to automatic. Go ahead and click the check mark. And that's it. We are done. Now, we're all set up. So we'll go ahead and set up our campaign. I'm just going to call this one eBay because everybody understands what eBay is. Okay. 
I'm going to change the status to active. And now I'm going to go ahead and choose my domain. So notice ProfitVentures.xyz is here. And I'm going to go ahead and make my visible link eBay. Okay, so now look at here. ProfitVentures.xyz forward slash eBay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And now, when we go over here to our link, this should redirect us over to eBay. And there you go. That's exactly how we do this. Also, you're able to go and cloak your URL as well. Okay, so if you never want eBay to show, instead you want this to show in the URL bar all the time, now you can do that. All right, just follow the exact steps, guys, and you too will be set up in no time.